Hello everyone and welcome to English Valley Cafe. My name is Anne. Have you heard of native speakers use expressions like here you go or here you are, there you go, there he is or here we go. These are expressions that you hear all the time and you're probably a little bit confused because they all sound so similar but they're used in different contexts. So let's talk about it today. The first expression, here you go, here you are. We say this when we are giving something to somebody. Um, so imagine you might say, hey Anne, can I have a napkin? And I might hand you a napkin, give you a napkin and say, here you go, here you are. So notice that my tongue, when I say, here you go, here you go, here you go, or here you are, here you are. Okay, so watch that tone go up and then come down. Here you go, here you are. All right, the next expression is there you go. Say it with me, there you go. So we use this expression when we want to give encouragement to somebody who is trying to learn something. Um, so for example, let's say I'm trying to teach you how to say the word thought. Okay, this is a difficult word, th uh, word, thought. And you're trying so hard, thought, you're trying to say it. And I hear you pronounce it correctly. I might say, there you go, there you go, you got it. So this is just an expression that's used as an encouragement that we um, give someone when they do something correctly. So you'll hear this from um, teachers, maybe they'll say that to their students or from parents, they will say it to their kids when they see their kids do something correctly, um, do something correct or learn something um, successfully. There you go. All right, the next expression is here we go or here we go again. Okay, notice that I'm singing with a little bit of frustration. Like here we go again. Okay, uh, we use this expression when we want to express our frustration for something that is not so pleasant, that is happening again, that's recurring. So for example, lately there's been construction outside and there's noise, like these drilling noise and it's very, very annoying. So in the morning when I hear the noise, the construction outside, I might say, oh, here we go again, okay, here we go. So um, I might show that, oh no, I don't want this to happen again by using here we go again. Um, another example might be maybe your um, parents or maybe your husband and wife just keeps nagging, blah, 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 blah. And you're like, oh, here we go, here we go again. The next expression is there she is or there he is. And we use this expression we when we are uh, waiting for somebody to show up, that means to appear, to come, or we're expecting someone. So imagine that, let's say that you and a few friends are at a restaurant and you guys are just waiting for one more person, one more friend to come. And this friend, maybe they're stuck in traffic or they're just late for the dinner. So finally, you see this friend coming into the restaurant. You and your friends might say, oh, there she is, or there he is. It's like, oh, they're finally here. So um, we use this expression to show that, hey, they're here, finally. Sometimes we might say, there it is, referring to something, the it, referring to maybe a key, all right? So let's say I lost my key. I'm looking, looking everywhere for my key. I cannot find it. Finally, I see my key sitting on the table. 
I might say, oh, there it is. All right, so it's like I'm happy that I found my key. I see it, it's right there. There it is. All right, I hope this video will clear up some confusions for you because they all sound so similar, but they're used in different contexts. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell notification. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.